Welcome back to Y2K Tech Time Tutorials with Shelley Bembridge. You can follow me on Twitter at Y2K Teacher HRSB. In step 5, you will learn how to annotate rubrics using GoodNotes. In this tutorial, I'm going to showcase how to annotate rubrics using the GoodNotes app. I have in front of me uh, rubrics that I've already created, and I'm just going to pull up one of my students, and I'm going to start annotating this rubric um, based on the artwork that he has created. I'm going to press the plus sign and add a text box uh, with his name at the top. And I'm just going to move that. Once you, uh, the text box is automatically placed on your page, you can just drag on the text box anywhere within the text box, and then you can put it where you'd like to have it. I'm going to put it right up there in the top left-hand corner because it's nice and prominent there. And then I'm just going to start going through the rubric. And I like to use my highlighter to highlight um, where the student is achieving. So I look at the outcome and then I look at the indicators and I'm going to start highlighting where he fits for his artwork. Um, and I just run it over. Now if I make a mistake, I can use the eraser tool at the top and just kind of erase over what I want to not highlight. In this case, I have some check boxes. So I'm going to select my pen tool and I'd like to zoom in on that a little bit better because I don't think it's giving me as clear a view as I would like. So I do a two finger pinch to, to um, drag in and zoom in on that particular box. And then I'm going to simply check off the things that the student has done. And if I want to drag back out, I do a two finger zoom in and then I can go through each one of the items on the rubric. If I wanted to um, select a different color highlighter, I just double click on the highlighter and it brings me up all of the different colors that are in the regular palette. I can also choose custom colors, so if I want to vary that a little bit, I can choose my custom color. It also allows me to go with a finer tip so that I can uh, do more precise highlighting or a larger tip. So I have those options. When I'm ready to start highlighting, I just click my finger outside of that menu box and I can start highlighting for the second indicator. So there we go. Now if I wanted to use check marks instead of highlights, I can also do that by selecting the pen tool at the top next to the highlighter. And again, I have various colors that I can choose from. And again, I can change the width of my pen. I can also choose more colors if I'd like. Sorry, that's the regular palette and the other, the advanced is the custom palette. So the preset palette gives you 10 colors and different widths. So I can then use my finger or my stylus to start um, making notes. And for me, I often like to put some notes there. Of the student's work. And I have the option to add this with my own handwriting, or I could also add it as a text box, whichever you find faster. If I wanted to do it as a text box, it, it pops up and I can start typing it. And again, I have options to change the size of that down at the bottom, because that's way too big. And I can just reduce that till I got a size that I felt was more appropriate. And then once I've typed it, I can move it anywhere I want. 
and again I could highlight it as well if I wanted to. So there I'm starting to populate the rubric and I'm just doing a two fin finger zoom in or zoom out. Uh, if I want to go in my fingers go apart. If I want to zoom back out my fingers go together and it's two fingers on the iPad screen either in or out to zoom. I can also add automatic shapes um, that's the automatic shape tool so for instance if I wanted to make a, a circle it'll make a, a perfect circle if I wanted to make a triangle it would also do that or square so if I didn't have that tool selected my square would be a little rougher and my circle would be a little rougher um, and again, this is a tool that's kind of neat because it allows me to zoom in on a particular area down at the bottom. And I can move that zoom in area. So if I wanted to write right here on this box, and so this is where I'm looking at, um, I can start writing here. And I just have to write at the bottom of my screen and it will automatically zoom in for me. So those are some of the most um, common features on GoodNotes, and I encourage you to explore, play, and try scratching up your rubrics.